It has long been argued which factors lead to climate change and whether or not humans affect it. Human influence aside, it is quite obvious that there's been an overall increase in global temperatures. Warming and cooling the Earth is a natural event that in the past has occurred over a 5,000 year time period. But in the past century alone, the global temperature has risen by 0.7 degrees Celsius or 33 degrees Fahrenheit. That increase is 10 times faster than the historical records predict and the future prediction is that the Earth's temperature will increase by 2 to 6 degrees Celsius or 35 to 42 degrees Fahrenheit. If that prediction is accurate, that makes for a 20 times faster increase in the coming century alone. Increased global temperatures have a negative consequence for ecosystems as well as organisms. Sea turtles in particular are affected by a change in global temperatures as the genders of their offspring are dependent upon the temperature of the sand that their eggs are laid in. Near the bottom of the nests, temperatures are cooler, which is optimal for male offspring, while at the top of the nest it is warmer, creating conditions for females. As global temperatures increase, the percentage of female sea turtle hatches increases as well, which creates a problem for the species. In a recent study, it was found that there are 116 females per single male in green sea turtles residing in the Pacific Ocean. While this is primarily seen in southern regions, northern regions are still found to have a 2 to 1 ratio of females to males, but this may soon change. Climate change also affects the amount of space that sea turtles have to lay eggs and the availability of beaches. With increasing temperatures, polar ice caps are slowly melting away, which increases sea levels and decreases the valuable coastlines that sea turtles need to nest. On the beaches that have enough surface area for the turtles to lay their eggs, there is a greater chance that the nest will be overcome by the higher water lines and the eggs will drown. Higher water lines also lead to increased beach erosion and in many cases creates many cliffs. Many female sea turtles will often perish when attempting to climb these many cliffs as they fall on their backs and are not able to right themselves. Unfortunately, nesting is not the only aspect of a sea turtle's life that is being impacted by the change in global temperatures. Sea turtles migrate annually between their feeding grounds and their nesting grounds, and females will often return to the same beach that they hatch from every year. As reptiles, sea turtles are cold-blooded, which means that they need to migrate to warmer waters in order to keep their body temperatures up. Sea turtles use their internal time clocks and their natural instincts to know when to migrate north and when it's time to migrate south. With warming waters, sea turtles are migrating farther and farther north, which gives them less and less time to migrate south when it's time, and the consequences of which have been deadly. In November of 2018, sea turtles that migrated as far north as Cape Cod were examples of what happens when sea turtles get trapped in cold waters. Out of the 584 sea turtles that were affected by the cold spell, 344 survived and 244 perished. Although there were a few loggerhead sea turtles among the impacted, the Kempsterly sea turtle, which is the most endangered species of sea turtle, was the most affected. Events like these, although few and far between, only decrease the chances of the Kempsterly sea turtle ever having flourishing populations. These points, along with the fact that their overall populations of all sea turtle species is decreasing, does not create a positive outlook for these animals. Fortunately, there are groups such as the Turtle Hospital in Key Marathon, Florida that are doing their best to look after these animals and make sure that their populations in our oceans manage to stay there for as long as possible. If global temperatures keep rising as they are, the efforts of these organizations, such as the Turtle Hospital, may be in vain. It is important that we as humans do our best to keep our impact on our environment as minimal as possible, which may be doing away with many of the luxuries of the modern day.